In this question, we are given the marks of grade 11 learners. So the way this table works is in the first column, we have the mark interval. So for example, there were three people who got between 70 and 80% for their test. So the first question says, how many learners are there in the class? Well, there's two people in this interval four people in that interval, six people in that interval. So you would just add all of those numbers together. And if you add those numbers together, you'll get a total value of, of 30. The other option is to complete the cumulative frequency. Let me see, let me show you how that, how that works. So here we're going to put a zero. Here we're also going to put a zero because there's zero people so far. Here we're going to put a two because there's two people so far. But then here we're going to put a six because there's six people so far. Here we're gonna put a 12, because how many people have we counted up till that point? Well, it was two people there, four people there, and six people there. Then we're gonna add another five, so that's 17. Then we're gonna add another seven, that's 24. We'll add three, that's 27. Add two, that's 29 and add one, that's 30. So your cumulative frequency is the total up till that particular point. Next question says, determine an estimate of the mean. Well, let me draw this out for you. So what it means is that there are two people who got between 20 and 30. So when we are calculating the average, let's pretend that they got 25. So if we wrote those numbers next to each other, we would have two people getting 25. Then there would be four people who got 35, six people who got 45, and so you could see how this would carry on. It would take a long time. So there must be a faster way. Well, imagine you had all these numbers written down. How many numbers would we have written down in total? Well, well done if you said 30, because there's 30 people. And how would you calculate the mean or the average if, it was, if there were 30 numbers next to each other? Well, remember, you would add all of them together, and then you would divide by 30, because there's 30 numbers. So a faster way to do this would be to say, okay, well, there's two 25s, so that'll just be 25 times two. There's four 35s, so that'll just be 35 times four. So we don't need to write the numbers down at all. We just get it from the table. So carrying on, it would be 25 times two plus 35 times four plus six people got 45, so that'll be 45 times six and then we carry on like that. And you see, if we had to add these numbers up, the two, the four, the six, the five, seven, three, two, and one, that'll give you 30 people. So we've taken all 30 people into account. So you would add all of that together, which would give you a total of 1,680. You would then have to divide that by the number of people, which is 30, and that'll give you a value of 56. So the average mark for this grade or for this class was 56%. And let's see if that makes sense. Well, we can see that most of the people are grouped in this region over here, the four, six, five, and seven. And so yes, around about 56 does seem pretty accurate. If we got an answer of like 81, something's gone wrong. And if we got an answer of 35, for example, then something would have gone wrong. And then the last question asks for the modal class. The modal class, or the mode, that stands for the most. So it's the class that got the most. So what we mean by classes is each of these are considered to be a class. So we can see down here that this interval, the 60 to 70, that has the most people. It has seven people. And so the modal class is going to be x is bigger than or equal to 60 and smaller than 70.